of your advanced counters, I'm going to show you what will look like me freeing the bottom leg and applying the crowbar. It's actually a paper cutter Achilles attack. So he has you in full saddle. As soon as he gets into position, don't, don't attack him. Don't try and break his mechanics. Keep your leg close. By defending your leg, you're not in any danger right now. He still has positional dominance but he needs to lengthen you out to put you in a position of danger. As he's fighting, now he'll need to release that in order to try and challenge this grip on my foot. But once he falls down to his side, that gives me time to free the overlacing leg of his four. Now he can have that leg if he wants. If he has that leg, I can still come down here and attack. But I'm gonna show you a quick little option and just forget about it for now, but tuck it away in the back burner. I call it a mouse trap. I defend this leg, grab a hold, overlace it, and I'll keep that arm tied in. But first, once I free the top of this four, tuck this leg through, now his arm's trapped, mouse trapped. Now I can come and attack this leg. I don't have much structure because I don't have a, a saddle as secure. I have a side saddle, if you see. So I'm gonna come underneath, Grab gable grip, no fingers, no thumbs, interlaced, just together. Drive the top of the for top forearm down, the bottom forearm up like a paper cutter to apply this calf crush to submit him. I'm loosening up here so it's not so tight. But you want to keep this side saddle tight so that that forearm is rustled in there to apply it very quickly. first sweep I'm going to teach you, he actually rolls away from the pain. It happens quite a bit, especially when he starts to feel that he can pass upstairs to upper half positional fighting. But he places himself in a position of compromise and ends up with a hip submission. Hip submissions you don't see very often because people don't know how to lock down the hips. The whole purpose of the saddle, to isolate and lock the hips. So if we start in full saddle, He starts to move away from the pain by turning away from it. I bump the leg across. Now his hip is in a position to compromise because I still have the saddle locked on. If I come down here, you can see that my knee's still in place, right? But he's trying to roll away from it. So see how I've caught his leg? I'm gonna fish that to the opposite leg. Once I fish there, I'll keep it confirmed. And then by kicking my leg, like I'm going to do a heel kick, by kicking my leg and driving his knee down, I'm submitting his hip, causing this joint to eventually dislocate if he doesn't tap out. Moving on to the side saddle counters to those basic attacks. So we'll begin in side saddle. and we've maintained closed hip. If it goes open hip, that's going to change things, which I'll, sh I'll share with you later. Closed hip, from here, when he comes around and goes upstairs, you maintain, you maintain your side saddle. Notice how Ryan even bumped across my knee. That's okay, he's still not in dominant position. He may be upstairs, here. Now it looks like he's in a good position. Looks like he's in knee and belly, right? not with my knee brace in place. Underhook, grab a hold. Underhook, this shoulder. 
take this leg and drive it out at the missing triangle point. So here's a brace, my far hip's a brace. So I drive that at a perpendicular angle, drive my top foot at a perpendicular angle to take him back down and reposition. Now he's in a worse place for his leg because I have it pinned down and it's easy to apply the uh, Achilles submission, which you can see by his instant response. Because of this relationship, it's easy for me because now his foot's buried into my ribs. So let's do this again. Closed hip, he comes upstairs, he even passed my knee. Now he's out what looks like knee on belly, but with my brace in place. So let's spin a little bit. Yeah, right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this leg and drive it over at that missing triangle point. Point one, point two is his foot over here. That line at a perpendicular line to it is where our stance integrity is broken. So we drive that way with my leg, lift both hooks up, reposition the knee down, get back into place, and then we attack this down leg. The second variation of the ankle pick, affectionately named the dirt ball, is when he leans into your pick so that you can't lift that ankle off the ground. When he leans into the leg you have overlaced. You start in the open and he passes one side, immediately wrap over top, maybe grab a false triangle, but to stop that from happening, he leans into it, bakes it in tight, and drives his knee into your belly, here, so that he has knee on belly control and he's trying to squish your breath. So to avoid that, underhook him and elevate him up in the air and drop him back down. So you're taking this shin and you're driving it into his rib cage. It's not very painful, but he doesn't have any choice. So here he passes, wrap it immediately around. He presses it across to bake tight right here. Lift up and around and dump him over to hook on. Get your false triangle, pass the leg, and finish him from full saddle. First of your saddle attacks from standing position, how to enter into lower half positional fighting from the stand-up game. Think of this as having an underhook in a clinch and you're bracing down with wrist control. You switch, taking this, un this underhook down across his waist for the seatbelt roll. Your leg is going to come up behind his thigh as you kick and your sits bones are going to land right on top, you have to almost jump on top and place your sits bones on his thighs. So from underhook, you have head control, you have wrist control, switch this hand down, shift your weight in and sit on him. As you sit down, he may fall straight down and you can go right into a saddle. But if, he ha if he's strong and he has a firm stance, that's when you apply the seatbelt roll. To come right in, create a false triangle, Kick out of the way, swim up, finish him as usual. Let's do that again. <clears throat> we come in, I get my underhook, I get his head control and wrist control. I'm already in position, I'm gonna try and do this smoothly and slowly at the same time. To lock in right immediately into full saddle and finish him off. 